scared. We can do this. These, we really are hot ones doing hot ones. Hot ones doing hot ones. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Um, uh, my name is Stephanie. If you are new here, uh, welcome. If you are returning, amazing. Good to see you again. I don't even know where to look here, so my camera's down. So famous. Um, this is my dear friend, Kat Cunning. Hi, I'm Kat Cunning. Um, and today we're gonna do the Hot Ones Wing Challenge. How are you feeling? If I'm honest, I'm uh, truly terrified. I'm not good with spice. I know a lot of people do this because they like love spice and they yeah. want to challenge themselves. I'm like already crying. <laughs> from like the aroma. And I feel like my body will uh, shut down. You yeah. know, I've, I've watched this, I'm a fan of this whole yeah. series and I see my favorite strong people come up. Shutting down? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> I, like, I think I'm just gonna start crying. Um, I'm definitely gonna cry. Yeah. Involuntarily, I think tears are gonna stream. I think I'm also gonna be in a panic of like a, you know, a hyperventilation. Yeah. I'm probably gonna vocalize a lot. I'm yeah. gonna sing. Okay, that's great. I, like I sing like every time I get a shot. Is that opera? Do you really? Yeah. I am. Um, now? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. I don't know. I'm hoping it's not that bad. I really don't. <laughs> and it was a time. I definitely um, think that it's going to be okay up until we get to these ones. Which one? Which side? Okay, so you're going to start from the handle and work our way this way. Yeah, 
this situation, this one. Well, it says it's got strawberries and coconut. I kind of taste the coconut though. Okay, yeah. Like a coconut, like channel the sweet thing. Yeah, channel the sweet things. This is rude. New York or LA. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm gonna say New York. Oh! New York's my motherfucking city! New I York just, it is! I'm probably moving to LA because I'm a traitor, but that is the right of a New Yorker, don't you yeah. think? Yeah. You transplant at yeah. some point. You have to. Yeah. I'm surviving this. How are you doing? I'm good! I think I'm okay. Like, I haven't, like, needed help yet. Me neither. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna finish it though. It is, like, this one's, like, smokier. Right? Because it's yeah. all this smoky? Yeah. It's, I feel like the coconut. It's really just You're right. It like really goes against my constitution to leave a happy point, but, but let's move on. Okay. It's like I can't feel this on my tongue and my yeah. And my gums. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah. I already feel exposed. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I love you. I love you. Let's do it. Oh. Thanks for taking me there. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a little more like. Is it right? It's a little more country. A little more straight up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I feel some burn now. But not bad. I still feel good. Yeah. Yeah, I still feel good. Yeah. I could answer. Oh, so I should get a question. Yeah. Don't be close. I know. Just love it on the wing. This is about the question. The questions are going to get me three thousand close. Oh. If I were a hot sauce. I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a hot sauce, how would you rate me on a scale from one to ten? Ten being spicy. Ooh. How would you rate yourself? Ugh. I really love this question. Um, well, you know. You know I think you're the perfect Thanksgiving date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna go with, like, you up here. On. Oh. Is it my lipstick? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when I eat it. I would give you, like, at first glance, four on twice. Mm -hmm. But the truth is, I think you got it looks like a seven. Oh. Yeah. Wow. For sure. Thank you. Yes. And uh, how do you rate yourself? I mean, at first glance, you're probably more like an eight. <laughs> first glance, you're probably more like an 11. <laughs> That's my side. Um, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would give you a, a 10. A 10's all around. Really? A perfect score. I'm spicy? <laughs> you're very spicy. Thank you. Right? You're spicy. I am. Yeah. You consider yourself an eight, though? Um. I was just giving myself room to grow. <laughs> Christina Fuego, I guess it's extremely spicy, huh? It's spicy. It's just like when you're spicy, you surround yourself with other people who are spicy, so you're like, oh, I'm not spicy is, but yeah. I guess to a four. Right. I'm gonna love this. I don't think you're, you're a four. When you're a four, this spice, it gets yeah. yeah. hard. You know what I mean? It gets hard. No, she's a ten. But not in and spice. spice. Definitely not in spice. <laughs> I'm not a spicy person. This is a 10 in general. <laughs> I'm 10 in Thanksgiving girlfriend. Yes. Ideal. Yeah. Can't yeah. wait for Thanksgiving to roll around. Are you free? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Hey. I'm, co I'm cooking dinner. Yes! <laughs> should we move on? I think we should. Moving on to four. To Los Calientes. I love a verde. Yeah, I do too. And when I smelled this one, I was like, I want to put this on everything. I want to use this as a perfume. I want to use this as a perfume. Yeah. Right? Doesn't it just smell like... <laughs> that was amazing. I know. Yeah. Yep. I want to put this on. Oh yeah. Everything. Oh, it's my coffee. <laughs> when we have our ice cream later, we we'll put it right on the ice cream. Honestly, <laughs> not a bad idea. That's my spirit. I should probably try. We're gonna have a different type of like hot ones challenge. Just yeah. Ice cream. yeah. I love that. Mm -hmm. I um, when I was 13 years old, I really knew myself better than I know myself now. Mm -hmm. And I had a birthday party where, like, the main event was eating Cool Whip and healthy new chips. That sounds amazing. Right? Anyone who hits on Cool Whip, like, it's like the Diet Pepsi of our culture. Who hates on Cool Whip? <laughs> People do. They really do. Why? Because it's, like, not entirely with fake. <laughs> like, I just see how people are handwriting it. Okay. No, friend. <laughs> <It's really fake. laughs> Okay, <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do on your day off? These are so respectful. I don't need to be your precious. Sleep. I just want to sleep and watch movies. Okay, that inspires my response, which is like, 
masturbate, sleep, watch movies, get convinced to be fed dinner. Yeah, that sounds like a great day. Right? That sounds like the best day, actually. Truly, every time yeah. I have a day off, I'm like, I just want to let ideas come to me. Should we move on? I think so. Okay, wait. So this is number five. Wow, we're doing good. We're doing good. Okay. I feel like I'm doing better than Chris and Stewart so far. I think you're doing great. Damn me. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this one's called Hotheads Official. It says roasted bell and scorpion peppers. Scorpio. Let's go. Oh, Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. I feel like this is gonna be a sneak attack. Mm. Sweet at first. Oh my god. Oh, it's stinky. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh. Mm -mm. No. Is this the one? Is this the one that's supposed to really hurt? No. Oh. Oh, I don't like that one. Mm -mm. Ooh! <laughs> the opera sounds. <laughs> I don't like this one. I don't like I it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, not ready for the milk yet, though. Or am I ready for the milk? Uh, <laughs> keep going, right? Yeah. I need to stop. I need to come back to you. You're rude. Okay. This is what they do. This is how it's made. They want you to feel really cocky, vibing. Yeah. Oh my God. I think I'm. Okay, yeah, I, I have a little milk. The milk helps. The milk helps. <laughs> you gotta get ahead of it, you know? Yeah. You can't, like, you can't be too proud. Of yeah. I'm okay with the milk. You know? Mm. That's nice. Milk tastes it's different. It's still active in there. Yeah. The milk tastes sweeter after eating a spicy thing, doesn't it? Sure does. Yeah. Okay, we have to do a question. Uh-oh. <laughs> I have a feeling this one. I'm not joking. The milk is not helping my face. Oh, like. then this is a great question for that. Do you remember how we first met? And what was your impression of me? <laughs> I have no idea. Why? I'm in a panic. Oh, yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. I'm so bad at physics. I panic every day. Okay. Anthony Aveson? Yes, Nick. Mm -hmm. You met in an acting class. Mm -hmm. You were actors. You were actors. I remember most. You were very tall and you were doing some fucking Shakespeare. Right? I was. Yeah, yeah, I know. I was doing Shakespeare. What was it? With Much Ado. Much Ado about nothing. And I was so impressed by your bubbly attitude. Ooh, it's fading. I'm feeling so good about it. Fading. Thank God. And um, you were just incredible. And so I was like, I, I want to know you. I think I was probably good too because you wanted to be my friend. I did want to be your friend. Yeah. Was I good in class or was it nice? Like, why did you want to be my friend? Well, okay, so from what I remember, you, I remember, at first I remember when you came in, I feel like I was already in class. Was, was I late? I was late. <laughs> yeah, and I'm always notoriously early. I'm always like 10, 15 minutes early to everything I do. <laughs> yeah, I was late. late. <laughs> yeah, I was late. <laughs> and you walked in, and I was just like, who the fuck is this celebrity that just walked in? Did that look oh cool? Oh my god, yeah, you walked in with like confidence, like you were wearing a really cool outfit. I was just like, what the fuck, who are you? And then it just felt like fully, like, I had to go up and do Shakespeare. <laughs> slay it, slay it. Yeah, so I had to go up and do a scene, and I definitely feel like I like spotted you in the crowd too. It was just like, this person is really fucking cool, and I don't know what to do. And then, but that was my last class, and didn't you take over my scene? I think so, I took over your scene. Yeah, I think Anthony replaced me with you, which- Because look at us. I know I don't have my hair down, it's not like, long at the moment, but like, couldn't we be family? <laughs> Siblings right here. <laughs> Siblings, I'm your little brother. Your little brother. <laughs> Always and forever. Um, wow, so yeah, we met in an acting class. We met in an acting class. like the one close friend that I took away from that environment. Yeah. So that's not true, actually. That class butted a couple of other people that are close to us. Yeah, like Connie. Like Connie. Yeah. Connie's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Connie and Missy. That's the party with Connie and Missy. Yeah. Mitzi, anyone else? I mean Kevin, that's how we met Kevin. Or how Kevin! I met Kevin. Yeah. He's the only boy I know. <laughs> <laughs> he's the only boy. When I need a male voice on a tape, he's the boy that I call. <laughs> hey Kevin. <laughs> and I'm like, hey, I need a man. Yeah. Uh, you're the only man I know. <laughs> Who sounds like man? <laughs> Can you play a straight American man for me, please? And yes. Yeah. And he is. Yeah. And he does a great job. He is, he can. Wow, that class is literally my whole acting BFA. I know. My like three <laughs> classes that I went to. Did you only go to three? Yes. I can't afford it. And I can't yeah. probably edit. I think it's schedule. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know, I remember. Because I that was my last class, but like I wouldn't went in and out of that class all the time. Like mm -hmm. I was there 
like, I feel like Anthony always had that rule where it was like, after two years you have to leave, but I just kept coming in in like six months. Like, but, uh, little here. I did there. installments. I was <laughs> like, I was here for a few months and then I stopped and I'm back and then I stopped and I'm back and I stopped. Good. That's yeah. just smart. Yeah. He was cool. He was cool. He was really cool people. Yeah. I learned a little bit. <laughs> One, three but classes. I, but I, but yeah, <laughs> that's what you get. Right? Yeah. You get what you pay for. You get what you pay for. Um, it's a cute story. It's a Did cute we story. say our first impression? So you said I was a celebrity. Yeah. And I said you were tall but bubbly and could handle Shakespeare. Yeah. Just want to button that. Okay, that's it. That's the button. Also, <laughs> the impressions, they check out. They do, actually. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They're they still, still true. They <laughs> I know. To this day. It's all still true. I'm like, she's like, like Blonde, but like give her Shakespeare. I know. You know what I mean? And they're like, oh yeah, my friend Kat. I'm like, yeah, they're like a fucking cool celebrity, you know? They're and the I'm like, yeah. Right now. <laughs> I don't know the lines, but like I'm here. <laughs> I thought you, you definitely like obsess over the lines. Obsess over lines. And you're very like, you you should do Shakespeare. Praise God, somebody, you guys heard it here. Shakespeare. <laughs> somebody let me play Romeo. Fucking Romeo. We tried. We tried to do that. We also tried to put on Romeo, but she I wanted to play Mercutio. And I want to play the Romeo. So if anyone out there wants to produce is tiring. That's what this <laughs> is about. So thank you for joining and watching us eat chicken, but hire us. Yes, we would really like to do Shakespeare. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. To the chicken. That was a good story. Let's, yeah. To the chicken. The, the, the spice really does take you elsewhere. It really know? does. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, I hope you have some good sex questions in here. Uh, I didn't ask those. It's not your brand. It's fine. Well, you know what? We can still tell them. <laughs> okay, what's this guy? It's an adobo, black lime, and ghost peppers, which sounds really scary. You got ghost peppers. When they say they got ghost peppers, they just want. Oh. But it's, I like this one. It's lime. I like the lime. They knew this one killed us, so they took it easy. Yeah. It's a really well designed, it's a, it's a well curated. It's a good cabaret. Yeah, it's a good cabaret. Like, mm. It's got like a nice lime, like the lime. Yeah, I like this one. It's like smoky. It's definitely smoky. Oh, wow. It's nice. It, it, it did not like the other one. I do like that spice because it's like the last one, the hot head. Yeah, so I like, like that one. Crazy one. I didn't like that one. I like a sting. I feel this way about fetish too. I like a quick, like. You just like it because it's a scorpion. Yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> But I also, I see where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Versus a thud. Like, I don't like a thud that's like, mm -hmm. aww. Mm -hmm. You know? You, you wanted to, yeah. I wanted to like wake my brain up. Yeah, you want it to pop. Yeah, it's like a shot of coffee. Yeah. Or tequila. Is it mine? Sorry, I don't have tequila. <laughs> but we're doing great. Yeah. You have given me, I don't know if you guys can see where I have a tagate, I have a little cloth, I have one of this half and half. It's milk. I haven't had normal milk. It's so whole milk. Here. It's local. It's from a farm upstate. I can feel the uterus of the cow. What? <laughs> what did I need to say? The udder? The udder? <laughs> It's the root. It's the root of the word. I like the the uterus of the cow. <laughs> yeah, that's that is different. Different. Right? Different. That was a oopsie daisy. Don't cut it. Keep it. Might keep it. Don't worry. Would you rather be a featured extra in an Oscar-winning movie or the lead in a box office bomb? A thousand percent. A featured extra. JK. Oh, I was like, really? No, a yeah. box office bomb for sure. Absolutely. Hundred percent. I spent. One day being an extra and it depressed me so much. Yeah, because I think that when you're like you have proximity to your dreams, but it's not your dream. It's right. Even, it's like that Even much worse. worse. Yeah, yeah. I much prefer to do something entirely different, like hand out flyers and pins for for like right. another company. Yeah, yeah. Extra work is terrible. Terrible. It's terrible. You wait all day, and also the culture of everyone else waiting. It's like hoping they get discovered. And yeah, it's just depressing. Yeah, and people like they just don't treat you well. Like they don't really care that you're there. I mean, they do, but like they But don't. you're just a human who is usually culturally a majority, like verbally thirsty about being an actor. So yeah. they treat you like shit. But I want to tell you, one of my first um, slash the last extra experience I had, yeah. they chose me because I was like, I was extra. And the guy had, the guy that I was paired with had tattoos everywhere. But they chose me because he was such I was really pretty. Right. And they covered his tattoos because it was a period piece and tattoos were everywhere. So someone poorly did the tattoo cover. So he was just like flaking like an amphibious, post-apocalyptic creature. <laughs> and I was supposed to make out with him. 
didn't yet know how gay I was either. Oh. It's truly horrible. Ooh, wait, what was this for? Um, what, what was the one with Bobby Cannavale? Uh, vinyl. Oh, vinyl. Yeah. Yeah. That was you, that was an extra though? You were an extra? I was just an extra. I went yeah. all the way out to the beach, the Rockaway wow. beach, the fancy house. Yeah. To like hope to be in the shop. But yeah. Hey, you gotta start somewhere. You gotta start somewhere. I was an extra on suits. Really? How, yeah. how did that go? I was actually really great. I mean, I just went because I did I say I was great? I, I, you did. I actually <laughs> saw I was awesome. I stole the scene. I bet you did. I bet you did that. People did text me, they're like, did I see you on suits? And I was like, you sure did. Oh my god. Um, it was actually really fun. I it was my first and last extra job though. I was like afterwards, I was like, I've never seen this again. Yeah. Um, but I did have a good time. I got pulled to be a featured extra. And then I stood at a coffee cart with uh, Megan Markle, her royal Whoa. highness. And then, um, what was that over the guy's name? Like Patrick Adams, is that his name? Oh. Whatever. The guy, the lead guy in the show. Yes. And then it was pouring down rain because we were feeling all the exteriors. Pouring down rain. So I was just like huddled under this coffee cart with Meghan Markle and Patrick, whatever his name is. Adams. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they were really nice considering that I was just an extra. Yeah, so they were sweet. But I felt really bad because I like I'm so thankful that I got pulled to be featured because it was pouring down rain. They just sent the extras out in the rain. No umbrellas, nothing. They were like, just go walk. True. And then once they were like, once it didn't stop raining, they were like, okay, I guess everyone needs to have umbrellas for like continuity's sake. And I was like, that sucks. Yeah. I had an umbrella the whole time because you were special. I was special. You were pulled to because be I was great. And great. <laughs> extra. <laughs> was great. The most extra extra. I was the most extra extra. Yeah. That's real. Um, well, it really is a horrible job. It's a horrible job. <laughs> I just been traveling to somewhere to stand in the rain to be in proximity to Megan Markle. It's not enough. <laughs> She's lucky she became royal. Yeah. So now at least I have a story to tell. You do. You're, we're, we're all lucky. Yeah. For our one extra experience. Yeah, exactly. Are we ready? Um, I'm present. Yeah, okay, so this is the tough one. This is the one that everyone likes. Should we ask it? We, how many questions do we have left? We've got like a handful. So. Okay. Do you want to ask the question now before we I take a bite? Yeah. And should, you want to ask the question and then we'll take a bite and then we'll answer it? Yep. I really love that. Okay. Bum This is going to be the hardest chicken of the loot. Okay, what was your first job? What was your first job? Can you try to eat a chicken? Let's go. Let's go, Steph. We came here to do it. Now we can dance around it. I think I do too. I feel like it's back for the video button. It's definitely oh, creeping up. Okay, I understand. Okay, hold on. Nope, it hit me. Did it? Did it not hit you? Are you fine? I'm still doing pretty good. Ha! Ah, ah. Ha! to dance around the perimeter of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think so. I was really good top dancer. I taught top. 
because my teacher, uh, she had a hip replacement and um, she needed like a TA. You do so. time steps? I can do time steps. Oh, okay. My mouth is doing a time step right now. My mouth is, actually I think I'm making it through from what I said. I think I'm get to the side. Okay, I'm gonna have another sip of milk. What was your first job? Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. I worked at Olive Garden. They made me wear a little button that said Hospitaliano. That's not Italian. It's made of work. <laughs> it was supposed to, I cut my hair real short and everybody was like, your hair was better long. That's what I remember about all <laughs> uh, I'm sure some, my first actual job was as a dance teacher as well though. Really? For sure, because dance studio is where I was at all the time. Yeah. I tell the kids the same. Yeah. My lips are on fire. How are you? I feel plump. <laughs> I feel really plump. I, I, I'm sweating. Um, I can't. Wait, I, think I'm, I think I'm actually good now. Yeah? I mean, I don't, it's not what it used to be. Right. It's calmed down. Do I sound like I'm talking normal or do I sound like I'm talking funny? You sound like a helium balloon. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't tell I'm not the best drug. Um, okay. I think we did it. I think we just survived the bomb. Wait, the next one? Oh, wait. Should we ask another question? Wait, because we're on, we're still on the high of the yeah, bomb. I still feel okay. so cool. fucking crazy. Okay, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go and why? Greece, because my family's from there, and I don't know the history, really. I know the history, I just wanted the history, but I want to go nearby where my family's from. Because people would know where you came from, because America has a lie. Oh my god, am I making a hot one political? Sorry. <laughs> I think it can be political, it's fine. It's not actually a hot one. I'm just, I stole their idea. And they're hot ones. And they're hot ones. <laughs> True American passion. Family is from a town called the Matadoes. Um, that disappeared. My right. family had escaped from Turkey. The Matadoes. I just learned from my mom's. Oh, really nice. Okay. And then that New Matadoes dissolved or whatever. And now it's near my Thessaloniki or Thessalonica, which I don't know where that is. Okay. We'll learn. Geography. Yeah, <laughs> we'll learn. We're going to learn it. <laughs> yeah, basically, long story short, I just need to go to Greece. Because everyone goes to Greece, and I'm Greek, and I have a reason to go. Greece is beautiful. You've been. Mm -hmm. All right, what about you? If I could go anywhere in the world, I mean, I would love to go back to Greece. I honestly would like to go to the south of France. I would like to go to Paris. I've been to the south of France. I've been to Paris before, but I started taking French. Well, I took French when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And then I stopped. And then when we went to Paris, I was like kind of impressed by how much I could remember, but I couldn't speak it, but I could understand. Well, like, wow. I could understand bits and pieces of what people were saying, cool. and I could read it. And so, I like, where should I go? I wish that I had kept up with the language. Yeah. And so then I took French classes, and then just recently I had a French tutor. Mikhail, what's up? If you're watching. <laughs> Shout out to Mikhail. Shout out to Mikhail. We love him. He's the best. Is that <laughs> cool or, or uh, owl? Or owl? <laughs> <laughs> I, I had this idea that I would go to Paris and I would try to speak in French with you. Yes. You should Even if I spoke terribly, I was only going to speak in French. Do you know that my best friend Tof is moving there? I do. Over? Yeah. Tof came over and um, we, well I have all of Tof's plants in my house now. You do? Yeah. Because they can, plants can go to Paris. Yeah. Plants can go to Paris and so now I have all the plants. Um, yeah. We'll talk a little bit about Paris. So. I French. think that bought you a Paris day. Yeah. I know, What's right? What's your favorite French phrase? I don't know anything cool. Avec moi, c'est soi, c'est soi. Raise up the Lana Rouge, let's go. Let's go. Baz Lerman is really like, you should sponsor this all series. If Baz Lerman would like to sponsor this, that's fine. Yeah, this one's no, this one is. No, go ahead. When trying to impress someone, what food do you make them? <laughs> Chicken wings. <laughs> are you um, I, when I'm trying to impress someone, I make uh, spaghetti carbonara. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, calm down, baby. Yeah. Cozy. I actually like this one. Maybe it's just what we're talking about. It tastes like carbonara to me. <laughs> it's like carbonara to me, too. <laughs> it kind of does, right? I don't know why. It has a bacon-y feeling. Maybe it does. It's smoked. Maybe. Extreme Black Garlic Reaper Sauce. I actually really like this one. This is bomb. Yeah. You should incorporate this into your Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, I really like this one. Is this gonna sneak up on me? Like, am I gonna regret this? I don't think so. I'm looking in. Yeah, oh wait, I'm gonna ask you a question. Mm. I got so distracted by how good the meat was. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I like that one. That one's really nice. They're, they're do, you think, yeah. do you think it's because of this one? Like, it like burned our taste buds and now we just can't taste anything? Mm. I think they probably had a high note and then took you down so you trust them, you know? Yeah, that's true. That's not some point, so. I think you already answered this, but I'll ask you anyways. What is one character you wish you could have played in one? Romeo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really do wish we could have played like anything Lara and Gabriel's done. But also Kate Blanchett. And most recently, I really connected with everything I've read for in the last year with the lesbian in Dope Sick. Oh, yeah. Good script. That was special. Yeah. I really love playing people who are like from low to middle class in America who have like a dream. I don't know. Yeah. 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 struggling to think they're wrong in America. I really love her. What is her name though? No. Her name. Her hair name. Oh! That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> her hair name is Betsy, but uh, Caitlin Beaver. Beaver? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She did a great job. She was in Booksmart. Yeah, yeah. What a breakout role. Like, I love her. I love a feminist narrative about friendship. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Your next that. movie about siblings slash best friends. Yeah. Here we are. <laughs> we'll eat spicy food. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll do all eat anything. Yeah. <laughs> all eat anything. All eat anything. No, the last one though. What you do on the last one? It's called the last dab. So you add more hot sauce. Fuck. You don't have so. to do it, but you have devoured those wings. Here's a cue for you. Okay. Have you ever Googled yourself and what did you learn? <laughs> Google myself, I haven't learned anything interesting though. No. Uh-uh. Okay. Um, yeah. Anything at all? I the thing that pops up the most though is in a really bad um movie. Uh, that pops up what was it? It was called Cowboys vs. Dinosaurs. Baby. Everybody watch it. <laughs> it what was, is this one you told me about? Yeah. I feel like it's good. I need to watch it. It pops that. up all the time. It was on Netflix. It's not anymore. Okay. I think it's on Amazon Prime though. Um, everybody go watch that. What I have. I mean, don't worry about it. I don't get any money from it, you know? Oh, then fuck it. Yeah. Rude. But also, just like maybe screenshot it and tag her on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I really want like a whole thing of just like people tagging me on Instagram. I want that. You yeah. should promote that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, What I've learned is I'm 46 years old. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> I've also learned that I should not have been a public performer from the ages of 11 <laughs> to. <laughs> There's too much bad content out there on yeah. Google. Have you ever tried to get it off of the internet? No, I need a manager. Anyone, if, anyone if there's can, anyone out there who can help get yeah, I clear like the internet history. I love the Google yeah. personally. Yeah. And I also, I guess I like looking on the edge. You know, they came from this, they became this. Right. Yeah. I haven't really devoured any of my sugar in the way you know. You need to do better. Okay, so this is the last dab? This is the last dab. So I'm gonna be crazy. You get crazy? Oh, oh, my, oh God. my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought it was going to be more biscuits. Well, you're going to have to eat all of it. Okay. Okay. Let's <clears throat> eat the dogs. Okay. Let's dab. I just I drenched it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. I've never done what I did. What the fuck? Oh, it's so 